Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey. Uh, we're bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Hopefully we can help you figure out what's going on with your computer. Uh, be sure to check out the related video links in the description as well as the frequently asked questions. We update those all the time. Uh, we try to put the answers uh, to the commonly asked questions in there so you have them as well as video links if you're on the wrong video um, or if you need to go somewhere else from here. Uh, you can always leave a comment or a question. We answer those a couple times a day at least. We always try to help you out uh, with what you're going through. So the computer right here we're dealing with is a Dell Inspiron. And the problem today is a power adapter warning. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on to show you what we're talking about. When you go to turn on your computer like I just did, you're going to get this warning that pops up for, for your power adapter. Alright, so there's our warning. Let me zoom in on this and show you what we're talking about. Okay, it says the AC power adapter wattage and type cannot be determined, the battery may not charge, the system will adjust the performance to match the power available. So what's happening here is that your computer is reading the incorrect power coming from your charger, it doesn't like it, it's going to cut your system performance until this is remedied. So it's not great because you got this annoying message that pops up. It's not great because your computer's not running at peak efficiency, and it's not great because something needs to be fixed. Uh, so we'll show you how, how to deal with that. Now there's several reasons why this may be happening. Um, first of all, your adapter may be the incorrect adapter for your computer. So let's show you how to check that first. If you flip your computer over, some computers will say down here there'll be a label that shows your volt and amp that you want. Others will say it under the battery. So in this computer it says under your battery. And there's a label here, you can't see it, but it says 19.5 volts, 2.31 amp. Now the charger I have here is an OEM Dell charger, so no issues there. And it's 19.5 volt, 2.31 amp. So this is the correct charger for my computer. If it's not, you found your problem, replace your charger and make sure that it matches those specs. But I've already confirmed I have an OEM, it's the right rating, I know I have the right charger. So the next thing I'm going to want to check, I'm going to perform a static discharge on my computer. Now the adapter's already unplugged, the battery's already taken out, perfect. So to do this procedure, you open your computer and you hold down your power button for a minute. This is going to drain any static out of your computer, sometimes that can really mess with the way your computer works. So you hold that power button down for one minute, which I didn't do for the video, but you would. You would go ahead and replace the battery. You would go ahead, replace the charger. And you would turn your computer on and see if that error has now gone away. In our case, the error hasn't gone away. Go ahead and turn it on. If the error has not gone away with you, you want to move on to actually testing these components now. Even though I confirmed that my charger is the right one I need, I need to test it to make sure that it works. So down below in the description, yep, see, same error. So now I want to test my charger. So in, in the description down below, there'll be a video link on how to test your adapter. Even though it's rated correctly, we want to make sure it's working correctly. And you can test this end to make sure the right power is getting to it. If after testing this, you've confirmed your adapter is good, you want to move on and test your power jack. If it's getting the right power, we want to then make sure that it's delivering the right power to the motherboard, which sometimes this breaks. After you've checked your adapter, confirmed it's working, your power jack confirmed it's working, unfortunately then you're looking at your motherboard is probably malfunctioning, in which case you want to uh, swap out your motherboard. We'll show you that in a different video. That's an extensive repair. Uh, we're not going to show you that here. There'll be a link down below for that. Now, if at this point you just don't want to do all this, you just want the error message to go away, you don't want to see it. We'll show you how to do that now. Keep in mind though, just because you do this and you make that error message go away, it doesn't mean you've made the problem go away. Your computer is still working at non-peak efficiency just because we made this stop. But we'll show you how to get the annoying thing out of there. So here it is. 
Let's zoom in again. Okay, so there's your error again, same error we had earlier. It says this warning can be disabled in BIOS setup. And luckily it's given us a nice quick link here to BIOS setup. If it didn't do that, restart your computer and just tap on F2 and that'll take you to BIOS setup. But we're gonna come down here and get to BIOS setup this way. May take a few minutes. Oop, sorry about that. All right, so now we're in our BIOS menu. Let's show you what we got going on here. We'll show you the options you want to hit. So these are your settings. There we go. We're going to want to go down with your arrow key to post behavior. Hit enter. Then your next option down below there is adapter warnings. You have a checkbox up here that says enable adapter warnings. Simply uncheck that. Then in the bottom, click on apply. Right down here. It'll ask you to confirm. It also has checked save as custom user settings. I'm not going to do that. No reason to complicate it. Hit OK. OK, now those settings have taken effect. Just hit exit. OK, those settings are in effect. Your computer will restart. And as you can see, it'll restart. It'll go to the Dell logo and that error won't come up. So you've turned off that error. So that's how you would deal with this. That's the process you would take to fix it, the different components you would test. And then ultimately, that's how you would get rid of the actual error message. If this was helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions, again, leave them below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.